Hey, I'm Zach, and I'm a philosopher at the University of Cincinnati. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about what my research interests are and what it is that I do as a philosopher. So to get us started, I want to consider a case study. During the 2016 presidential election, we witnessed an increase in political polarization. It's been widely recognized since then that this was largely due to uh, YouTube algorithms recommending increasingly polarized content to the YouTube audience. Now it's important to note that these algorithms weren't intending to increase political polarization. Rather, they learned to recommend this content based upon the behavior of individuals that regularly watched YouTube. It just turned out that regular YouTube uh, viewers were more likely to continue watching if the video was politically polarizing in some way. This has exacerbated political polarization in the US and we're really still dealing with the fallout from this today. So we might wonder who's responsible? Is it Google, the entire corporation responsible for YouTube? Is it the team of engineers that created the machine learning algorithms? You might think, is it the algorithm itself? Is it, is it some AI agent, some artificial agent? Is it the individuals choosing to watch the videos? Or is it the creators of the videos themselves? Uh, this is, these are challenging questions and I'm not attempting to address them in this video, but these are the sorts of questions that my research asks. So in particular, like I said, I look at the intersection between social ontology and AI. So social ontology asks questions about the nature and properties of the social world, such as gender, race, law, technology, artifacts, and groups. My interests focus specifically on the nature of groups. So I ask questions such as, do groups have a mind of their own? Can a group intentionally act as a single agent? And if so, what would it look like to hold the group itself responsible for its actions? So today, what I really want to think about is the relationship between three concepts, agency, action, and responsibility. Now, these are three important concepts for how we think about group agency and agency in general. So normally we think of agent as any sort of system that's capable of acting. So the next question is, well, what's an action? Well, we typically differentiate actions with mere happenings. So we say there's two types of events, roughly speaking, actions and mere happenings. An action is when something is done intentionally. So for example, Buster Keaton, the famous vaudeville actor, when he intentionally falls, that's an instance of an action. Whereas when I fall, when I'm walking to work in the morning on some ice, I didn't intend to fall, and so my falling wouldn't be considered an action. It'd be considered a mere happening. Now, when we put agents and actions together, you know, as I said, we typically say that agents are any sort of system capable of action. And so this brings in responsibility because we normally think that we can only hold an agent accountable or responsible for actions and not for mere happenings. So one of the reasons why I'm so interested in the relationship between social ontology and AI is due to the fact that we often ask similar questions about both groups and AI. We might ask, can an AI have a mind? Can an AI system act intentionally? And if so, should we hold AI systems responsible for their actions? So thinking back to our case study, we can see how in that particular situation, we've got multiple different actors. Um, we've got the engineers working for YouTube. We've got the CEO of Google making high level decisions. We've got individuals watching YouTube videos. Um, we've got the creators of the videos themselves. And all of that contributes to a complex system in which machine learning algorithms learn to predict the statistical uh, behavior of the individuals watching YouTube, and it leads to a situation in which we get a particular problem as a society, namely political polarization. So what I hope to do in my research is look at that intersection between group agency and AI, ask these sorts of difficult questions, trying to identify who's responsible for particularly pressing problems. 
And the general motivation of my research is the belief that philosophical questions of critical contemporary importance are overlooked by asking questions about groups without also considering similar questions about AI and vice versa. For example, if we ask about group agency without considering the influence of AI on group decision making, or if we ask about the intentions of AI without considering the role of groups in creating AI. So that's a little bit about my research and the relationship between groups, group agency and AI. Uh, thanks.